get a stop, drop and roll, Vafetu. Get whatever you're doing. Take a pause, take a break, take a breather. Because the episode we have for you guys today, Yachesa. Kere, it comes from the place where people go for the mangoes and the avocados. Reduce <laughs> lengwanabo ma. Who's going to give us today's recipe for success on how to juggle both living a healthy corporate life and also living a healthy life as a content creator, living a healthy life in general? Ariana, be a la hasabato wobona at all. Ibile are pen alcohol 2024. Sitting with us today in studio, Replomile Kema. Yes, my brother. Yes, sir. So today's interview, sure. I'm going to speak about your upbringing, um, speak about how you entered into content, speak about any big events that happened in your life that shifted your life in a big way. We just want to get to know you really. It's just a conversation between yeah. us, you and the chefs. Um, and you're putting them on game. How do you juggle the lifestyle that you're living now? How do you stay happy? How do you stay healthy? Sure, sure. Um, yeah. Before that, so you know. we need to do a bit of a warm-up, a bit of an icebreaker. So I have two questions for you. Sure. Question number one. What is the biggest insult you've ever received? What is the biggest insult you've ever received that you still remember? <laughs> Yeah, this one is it's recent, so that's um, I'm able to record it this quickly. So mm. I said something on Twitter, and then Twitter is stay, stay away. If you're on a Twitter, don't yeah, let yeah. anyone fool you to get in that app. Yeah. So I said something, and then people were disagreeing with me, right? Mm. So I listened to a lot of Shiva shit, right? <laughs> okay. The greatest essay rapper right now after oh, Madlera and Blake. Okay. Shabby shit, right? Okay. So I always post screenshots and I post these lyrics on Twitter and, you know, I, a lot of people, I plug them through Shabby shit on Twitter. So when I said something that was like wayward and people disagreed with me, someone said less, I, what did he say? He said <laughs> more reading books and less Shabby shit lyrics. I was like, wow. Yeah, Shabba. Yo, now nah, that one hit me. Yeah, Shabba. Go, go, like, oh, nah, he cooked that one. Now Shabby, like, when I go back, like, yeah, one, day. Then, so one yeah. day is one day. Yeah, now nah, he was plotting one for day me. Is one day one day. Yes, sir. And then, second question is, what is the greatest risk you've ever taken? The greatest risk ever taken? Hmm. That's, a, that's an interesting question. Supporting his chiefs? I, I, I don't think it's risk. It's about the life insurance. Yeah, no. It's about the clientele. And it wasn't even up to me. You know, it was, you know, I was raised in a household that supported his chiefs, but, yeah, no, when I was old enough to make that conscious decision to say, I support this team, mm. yeah, that was the greatest. I don't, they don't even cover it. Like, yeah, but if you call them and say, I need to be insured because I support Kaiser Chiefs, yeah, they won't cover you. And that one is a real hazard, get health risks for real. For real. Life. Yeah. So, take me back to Beth, where are you born? And check, my mom says I was born in Pretoria, okay. But I think it was for the facilities, like the hospital. Okay. Know? Yeah, but body medical aid. Mm. So, uh, hospital in Pretoria, but my whole my whole life I was in Limpopo until like high school, right? Until I finished high school. So okay. In Limpopo, Mudemole, that's where I was born and raised. As okay. I said. Okay. Yeah. So, so I want you to describe Mudemole, Limpopo, because there's a lot of ignorance out there. Hamutana na Limpopo, one avocado. Wanna mango, and then that's all. Like they don't see anything else. Like walk us through the life that you're living, because people automatically associate anything out of Joburg, ish, yeah, Joburg, Cape, like KZN and Cape Town, but one village street. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what is the scenery like? What is the household like? We want it. They have siblings. Like what's the what's the composition and the scene like the 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 environment like? Yeah. So uh, you're actually right. Or like a lot of people, like outside of you know the cities, mm. the metros that you just mentioned, you know everything else is the bundus. You know, mm. so there's someone even it, you couldn't believe when I told him like I'm from the hood, and he's like, "Una lady kasi go Limbobo." I'm like, "Dude, what do you think <coughs> Limbobo is?" Like, yeah, yeah. Kasi like the, kasi ke kasi the thing that apartheid you know used to you know a, a gatekeep mm. and make sure that we are all in the same place they excluded limpopo for what reason yeah yeah you all yeah. you know there is a hood in every you know mm. province or whatever right mm, mm. so it's where i'm from it's here on Akas, it's like the usual hood you know not mm. really you know different you know uh, uh places like not suburbs 
per se, but just where like the nice houses are. Not only looking like these RDPs, you know, mm. these schools, these roads, mm. you know, all, all that stuff. But you're not wrong about like you know the mangoes. Like where I stay, like there's literally a mango tree in every house. Like I'm not even exaggerating. Eh? Like every house there is a some houses there's two. You know, if mm. I do average, when I tell people, I I'm I'm probably averaging it out. Like it averages out to a mango house every a ma- mango, mango tree, tree every, every house, house or yeah. every yard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how much like mangoes there is. There is avocados maybe as you progress uh, yeah. deeper into Limpopo, you mm. know, and other fruits as well. But predominantly mangoes where I'm from definitely. Mm, mm, but get mm. regis, I'm not what the regis are? You think you cross out the toll gate, so the mango just to give you mahala run. No ways, dog. I'm okay. a fruit and veg. Or, uh, the nah. podcast not this that are punch you got the food. Nah, nah, I'm selling them. I'm selling oh, okay. them. So support. the family composition, right? Mm. It was me, my dad, my two siblings, mm-hmm. uh, my older sister and my younger sister. So I'm the middle child. So three kids in the mm. family. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And how was that dynamic? Are you like a middle? Ch- are you a typical middle child? Because by the middle children, and I'm completely unbiased as a middle child, <laughs> which is the cream of the crop. Harabatli <laughs> And we have a good relationship with the parents. Rapasa, yeah. you know, re happy, re soft. And then the older and the younger ones are the problems. Yeah. Or when are you the problem? I think, wait, let me see. So I think like the first born is like the experiment. Like your parents mm. buy you to away. And like, yeah, that's the yeah. worst place you can yeah, be, right? Yeah, yeah. And the last born is like, yeah, no, now we know what we're doing. Mm, you know, mm. the middle child is, you know, you get the good and the bad. Yeah, you can test the orders. Yeah, yeah. You get the good and the bad. But I agree with what you're saying. Like, you know, we are, you know, Rapasa and, you know, we have a good relationship with the parents. But your trooper and Hashem now and even lie. Now get trooper, like, Big time, like mm. I, I like I always tell people who are like, nah, there are some kids that long worry, but like when you listen, like so the, the topic would be a uh, soft parenting, right? Mm. And I'll say there are kids who that do listen, like even during their like teen years mm. where like they're rebelling and stuff, like when you speak to them, they listen. Like when you raise mm. your voice, they listen. I was not listening at all, like so when I tell people like you know my parents you know used to give me hidings, like no oh, what. When I was about abuse, I got nah, mm-hmm. not really. Eh, because what looking back, if they didn't Negative give me ever. I'm telling you, but I would be like roommates with Alostro. That's how it I hey. And Alostro doesn't have a room. Like, so you see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, rense, rense papa, chakalaka, <laughs> lenama. Standard. Um, standard. Standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Something you. soft for the Sunday. Alebua. Thank you. Thank you. Go back, guys. Hey, how did you get Who cooked? Um, it was like a collaborative effort. Yeah. Um, so, head chef, a.k.a. my mom, went to Makaku. Mm-hmm. And then I was really just guiding the rest of the process. What process is being guided here, my brother? Uh, sometimes intellectual property is the value. Or a spice I saw, fry I saw, what understand? Chakalaka. If that chakalaka, uh, if you can replicate it, then go for five thou. Yo, you're show. actually speaking to the wrong person, bruh, because we'll start. My, yo, when chakalaka fell, and I'm not not anything here. Mm. The chakalaka, my friends know, like everybody bry. Mm. There's one who cooks pop, one who bries the chakalaka, they know it's me. So maybe. Let me, but I'll give you an honest and an honest. Yes, opinion. yes, please do, please do. Sure. So I want to speak more to this troubled child ish. Can move us to <laughs> to this troubled child narrative, ne? Yeah. What can you recall is the one beating, ne, That you'll never forget. Gore, <laughs> they beat you enough, le for banaba how to know never to do that. Thing. You, you, I'll never forget it, well. It's, I don't know what was happening, but never touch it, You know when they wash blankets, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. the ones that they put in tubs and then you step on them. You know, I don't want to use the washing machine because mm. it jamut like us. Mm. So they make they basically practicing child labor. We don't say this enough, but I'm saying it. There's Thank child you. labor in this household. Yo. So we stepped on them and then Badiana, they put them on the washing mm, on line. The line. Yeah. And I don't know what happened. I was throwing a tantrum or who made me angry or it was my mom. Mm. And then I went to pour sand on those blankets. You, you, you. Dog. When I told you I got a beating of a lifetime. 
Even I will never forget it. Like I can still see the blanket even today. <laughs> I can still see the red mink blanket that I put sent over. Mm. And a minky or number hanging. Bruh, not the mink. Dog, minky but I got a child. Not the mink, mm. dog. And it, but like looking back, I was like, you know what? I deserve that one. That was the greatest risk you've ever taken. <laughs> that was the greatest risk you've ever taken. Yeah. But <clears throat> a lot of the reality for a lot of men especially is their dads firstly are probably not going to be present in the unlikely event that they are they don't really have a good relationship with their dads you know like how should be the movie that white dad is teaching his son how to throw and they can't catch and, 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 and yeah and, and. did you have a relationship with your dad that was good that was healthy like how share where you can be like oh or whatever the yeah. case is or what was that dynamic like I don't know, with both my parents, like, our relationship was, like, strictly parent-child relationships. Mm. You know, when I hear people say, I used to talk with my dad about, you know, my dating, you know, life, blah, blah, blah. Like, what? Well, I look at the same job. How? 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 You know, I'd, so I'd, 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 I can't relate to that. But, mm. like, you know, for the most part, it was a good, you know, father-son relationship, you know. Yeah. Even when yeah, I do, I used to do, like, a thing called Papa Jokes on Twitter. Okay. And then, you know, people people would be surprised when I tell them that I have a dad because it's, you're making jokes about your dad or you invite, I, I would invite people to roast my dad, right? So people, I guess they assume or like I have a terrible relationship with my father or I don't have a father at all. So when they do find out, they're like, wow, you have a dad. We wouldn't have thought. I'm like, if I told you that I had a dad and... I told you about all the great things that he has done for me. I wouldn't be so relatable to you guys mm. because that's the reality of, you know, a lot of people in South Africa is that, you know, you don't have any relationship with your dad or if you do have one, it's very, you know, it's not that good. So mm. it's okay to make fun of, you know, your dad mm. in that way. But like my dad would come watch me, you know, uh, do athletics and, you know, he'd buy me, you know, match that I needed. You know, I bought me my first pair of soccer boots and shin guards. I was like, in primary school, I'm like, now looking back, I'm like, why did you buy me shin guards, dog? Like, there's no need for <laughs> shin guards. <laughs> you know, we're not doing anything that serious, you know? So, yeah, I did have that kind of relationship with my dad. But it wasn't that, you know, to the point where I just emphasized where it's like mm-hmm. beyond parent and son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was it. I think that that's really dope. Um, and oftentimes... A household has almost like mirroring ecosystems. So obviously the dad will be the head of the house. But in your kind of situation, um, you are the only male between two um, women, right? Yeah. So that perhaps provides an opportunity for you to step up or maybe it just happens naturally that you end up being like their protector. Are you protective over your sisters? Like the close yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm very protective of my, you know, of my sisters, especially the younger one, the one that comes uh, after me, mm-hmm. uh, because she's just a year younger than me. But mm-hmm. so I'm sure when you like, so she's not that young. Yeah, 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 Why yeah, do you yeah. call her your little sister? She'll always be my little sister. She knows this as well. So I'm very protective of her, and you know, right? Maybe now, as we, you know, after we, we, we graduated or we finished high school and moved out of home, that's when we started, like, you know, forming a, a more closer relationship than we had previously mm, mm, yeah mm. so yeah i'm not protective of. have myself. you ever had a time when you like had to exercise that maybe like your sister's like yeah ish take jolla le tabo and one more not get out yeah not not in the jolla sense it was just in in primary school because that's the only uh well phase where we were together to that extent mm-hmm. high school we didn't go to the same high school mm-hmm. But primary school, went to the same primary school and there was like, you know, bullying and so forth. So I would step in a lot, you know, mm. and, you know, help her in that regard. Mm. I think that's really cool. But how was, and it raises an interesting question about school life in general. How was that for you? Like, were you Mr. Popular, like, group lead about ML of Hitler school? How was just kept so bullying? How? Um, and how was it like academic life um, all the way from, you know, primary to high school? Primary, I went to two primary schools. So one was Kukawasi and then the other one was in town. So grade mm-hmm. one to, was it grade one to two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was Kukawasi, which I recommend. Please take your kids to 
primary school or yaku kasi mm. or high school mm. you know to build character and then no i'm joking don't do that the <coughs> ac is a very terrible government mm. do not mm. put your child's future in the do hands that. of the ac yeah. yeah so yeah the second one was a large school so it's an english african school you know, our parents are wild dog like mm. imagine just taking your child and dropping off at them at some white school they don't mm. know english they don't know africans and you're like figure it whip, out whip, whip. Bruh, that's so wild when you think about it now right? yeah yeah so that was that and then high school uh, i went to a work school as well so like in terms of uh the kind of student i was i think in in primary school i did it like i was I went through a lot of like you know bullying myself right mm. and then to defend myself I almost like became a bully myself like I realized this like later on in in my life like maybe after high school like I wasn't such a a great pleasant pleasant mm, mm. to be you know around mm. if I wasn't like cool with you mm, mm. you know but and then after I so the thing that people would tease me about was my teeth so I had like knocked up fucked up teeth mm, because mm. I was uh mm. so i got braces and then uh, and then my teeth were suddenly yeah. fine and then no one was you know bullying me what did the, what are the types of things I feel like school kids are cruel what are the Yo, things they used dog, to say what they used to say madluputu was the thing then yes. i remember madluputu it's like madlup dog come on that was that's a new law even Yo, <laughs> that's 7 a.m but it's a madlup they ruined yeah they ruined like uh, uh, what what do they call this a uh, geography or social science class yeah. also focus at hey. just the maluput was it zakatata we know none maluput yeah so just like to defend myself against that i just became you know a very and an unpleasant person you know i'd make fun of people as well you know so I, it's the thing of like i make fun of you because before you make fun of me mm, mm, I, well, mm. and then once i fixed my teeth i just saw that i actually don't need to be you know such a mean person because they were no longer being mean to mm, me so mm. i you know i just you know became a better person i grew you know with you know with growing as it comes and the kind of student in high school i was i was uh, I, i think like i was cool with everyone you know yeah. the, the smart kids the sports and you know the athletics football and the teachers you know i was i was very i was that part of the back, back uh, uh, what do they call that a back seat yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 the back seat yeah, crew yeah. you know would sit at the back you know make jokes and you know make everyone laugh but when it was time to you know like study and and so forth i was like studying i mm. don't know about the other guys Ah, no, 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 I wasn't that. Then old like 90. After <laughs> nah, telling nah. us that we together. Yeah, nah, nah, I wasn't that. My friends knew like I would tell them like, "Hey, dog, I can't come through this weekend. Yeah. I have to study for this and that." You yeah. Know? Because that was instilled in me from a very early age. You know, my mom is a teacher or was a teacher. She's now retired, right? Okay. So she instilled that in us very like from the jump like you know school is important there's a time to study and you know friends yes you can have friends but the number one thing yeah school mm, mm. so that's why like i was like the class clown but also nigga pass so my the teachers would always like say you have such great potential karabu i don't know why you like this i'm like gee this is childhood trauma yeah. coming out leave me alone yeah, you know what I'm doing. leave me alone as long as i'm passing your class yeah yeah yeah, yeah so that was me in in school or well, there is another element of school with varsity but we'll get yeah, there I I guess. Feel more and more. that that school you know when you're in, in in like kind of high school primary you experience that um to some extent you're in control of that varsity takes you yeah, it yeah. rocks you and then you find your feet and then you kind of adjust Fair. so in terms of then your schooling dynamic right when are you like okay this subject really speaks to me i see myself doing this or get arts and crafts you're like mm or like shape but about content creator when yeah. do you discover the loves that you now kind of possess and that now make you yeah income so content there wasn't there for me like high school primary mm-hmm. now nah. even varsity i don't think it was there like that it was like you know the the academics that was there so mm. i think the subject that you you just like referring to uh, it would be like business studies for me mm. so yeah i did business studies i did accounting and then i did life science i don't know why i did life science there was i think i just wanted to 
No, but the science say one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I wanted to say, ah, I can do science. Yeah, you don't want anyone to say, no, pa. Yeah. <laughs> Shapa science alone. Yeah, I think, I think that's why I did like life science, right? So, so business studies were very interesting. You know, it was the, like the, the law, you know, the business mm. and the element of economics without having to do economics and then accounting, just like it's finance, like covers like the finances of the business, right? So that's where I discovered, like, you know what, I'm actually, you know, intrigued about this, like, business thing. Mm. You know, mm. I did very well in business studies. Mm. So that's why, like, I, I opted to, you know, study what I studied in university. Mm. Mm. So when at this time, what I ever, like, are you, are you just the class clown? Is that where the social element ends? Or, a, like, you deep within Limpopo groove? Nah, 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 groove. You, I was a very late blue mind groove. Even my friends told me this. Like, yeah. Even when I was started, when I started drinking, they get told me again, what do they call this? Hunter's dry. Yes. Sudeid, dog, like diabetes yeah. in a can. Yeah. And like, told me, like, I was already Hunter's dry. People were drinking, you know, the vodka, the ate, yeah. ate, the DJ, all those stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was starting out, that was, what, I think I was in grade 11. Mm, mm. Yeah, grade 11, grade 12, grade, yeah, grade 11, yeah, somewhere there. So I was really, you know, like very late to that scene. Yeah. It wasn't my, 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 my cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just school. And when we were at school, I would do sports and, you know, be the class clown. That was it for me. Oh, okay. I think that's, that's super dope. So then if you had to compare the two, nah, since you've been in both kind of provinces, Limbopo Groove or Joba Groove, which one wins? <laughs> Joba Groove, da 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 da. Wait, wait, nah. Limpopo Groove, dog. Like Le Compo in a tavern where the alcohol is hella cheap. People don't have, are not clicky. You know, they don't have that. You can sit with us energy. You yeah. know, and you can just dance. Like people back home, like they dance, dog. Like only tavern in Joba Bini, one Mo Joba go one fetu bina kare. It's like you, you are asking for attention. I'm like we in the club, dog. That's yeah. why we here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We here to let loose. We we here to 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 dance. You know, so but people look at you weird when you dance. Like yes. oh, it's an ick. Yeah, the, yeah. As the Oba kids say, ik. yeah, you give them the ick. Hey. Nah, not back home, dog. Back home, like and even the music back home. Like, mm. You know, I'm biased, obviously. Mm. But like there is piano, there is uh, 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 you know hip hop. Mm. But there is also like look, oh, but I need to share shit. I need to hear Kim Wona, that you yeah. cards. And yeah. I, I need that. So mm. definitely Limpopo. Even even if you say Pretoria, even if you say Durban, Cape Town, Limpopo wins for me. Hey? So is because <clears throat> this is interesting. Do you think Limpopo Groove is superior for a tobacco Limpopo, or I can bring someone not got Durban, ne? Or like Cape Town, someone neutral. Yeah. Gar- yeah. And they'll say Limpopo wins. Now, if you're like a groove, groove person who's just like there for like the pure vibes, you know, mm. you're not like, uh, I don't know, you don't have any, you know, preconceived like yeah. biases about people and places. If you're just there for the vibes and, you know, the groove culture, I'll, I'll think you would enjoy Limpopo. Like, mm. even if you're not like understanding the music, just seeing the way that. It, how happy it makes people, mm. you know, because you obviously you'll understand the piano, the hip hop, the quieto, you know, the soul and all that. But when it's time for the comp point, you have to see those scenes with your own eyes. Mm. Yo, dog, like you'll fall in love with that. Out of nowhere, know where in Popo, 3 a.m. on a Saturday, if you a step, who's getting married, no one knows, dog. But my step is last year, something. And when I'm fit, if you move to a vibe, when you or rather the vibe, put a little bit no, and these people. They're enjoying, yeah, man. Like, this is yeah. what Groove is about. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's super dope. Like, I think Groove in South Africa, to some extent, yeah, it brings its problems. But it's also very unifying. Especially, like, Hojaiva Kokasi. Like, people, they just let loose and they can come together. So, I think it's interesting that it's also, like, a trend that exists throughout the country. Yeah. I want to then jump forward. do business. What are we deciding to study and where? Yeah. You know, I don't really remember like how I decided where I want to, you know, mm. where I want to study or what I want to study. My parents are actually wild for this one because they I didn't consult them. They didn't ask me. I think they just knew like, okay, we trust you. You know, you see you have good marks. You have a mm. good head on your, on your head. And what? You have a good, good head, head on, on your, your shoulders. shoulders. Yes. 
Good so, head on your head is, is interesting, guy. Yeah. Hata. Or, or, mm. I might be cooking. Ne? Hey, something <laughs> strong. <laughs> so I think like they're like, you know what? We gave this kid, you know, the right recipes for mm. him to make the right decision for mm. himself. You know? Recipes for success. You know, so they just let me do my thing. And I was like, ah, business, accounting. Mm. Let me just do, you know, accounting. Mm. And then I applied to uh, UP. I applied to UJ. I applied to, I think... UL, mm. now nah, UL I think was a late consideration, and then I think they were closed. I forgot the other one that I applied to. I think it was Northwest or something. Mm. And then I got rejected at UP, and then they didn't bring back my registration fee. I didn't know. Something. And then, <laughs> and then the one where I didn't pay any registration fee, UJ, they accepted me, and then I was like, you know, I'm a way though. Yeah. Do back counting, you know that that craze that after matric, like I don't want to be here, yeah. I want to leave, I want to change, you know, cities, change provinces. So do back, I think, or oh, you northwest, I think, you northwest or free state, one of yeah. the two. They accepted me for law. I was like, mm. Mm, law. Now nah, my dad wanted me to study law. I was like, mm. Mm, doc, you can yeah. enroll yourself. In yeah. Law. Now I'm going there. Yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah. To do accounting. So. When does that craze stop? Because that craze on is real, ne? I need, I need to get out of the house. I'm my own man. Now. Yeah. My mom doesn't understand that. No, my August will and that's one. <laughs> but then you, you get to uni, and then it Then you realize, hey, like, oh, my mom's cooking right now with bang. Like, at which point does reality hit, and you're like, oh, I wish I was home, or yeah. this is really, really hard. Yo, bro, it was like. The first few weeks when I got there, so I was staying with three of my friends, right? Mm. So we were four, and then so we we're like, let's just buy groceries together. The mm. first time we went grocery shopping, <laughs> yo, dog, we buy things, you know. When you're home, you know, you nyaka balloon, you nyaka bacon, you want mayonnaise, you want you know all these stuffs, you know, these spice, you want turmeric. What mm. turmeric? What the hell is wrong with you, dog? When I think about it now. You know, all these stuff that you used to be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a Danone. Danone. What are yeah. You, when are you going to have time to eat Danone? Danone Papa. Fine, we put these things in the trolley. We go there, we pay. Uh, the bill shook, shook us, bruh. In sure. that moment, like, it just kept going up. It just kept going up. <laughs> you know when you're watching nervously? Bruh. You know how much is on your car. Bruh. You know the total you see. <laughs> oh, oh, Mudimo, please. And I think... Stop, the, go. The, the mistake that we made was, like, we put... The most expensive things first, like maize meal, right? <laughs> you know, rice yeah. and, you know, all, all those expensive stuff. Like, they they punched in those things yeah. first. And then we look at the bill. I was like, gents, do you see how many things are left in this trolley? What that thing is saying and what our bank account is saying? Hey. It's not going to be good, but hey. let's pray. So we're doing mental mathematics there at the till the lady could see you. Like, nah. um, <laughs> you know, when the lady starts to feel bad for you, it's like, yeah, no, if you can say you Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you spe- yeah you know, she can see you like, yeah, why you, why you so? So that was the first time I got that, you know, reality check. Or like, yeah. Yo, you're away from home. This yeah. is you now. And I got that very early on. Mm. I, I think we need to speak about that. So we're going to take a short production break. Sure. Then we're coming back and we're going to get into it. And then we're going to go to Confessions Corner, our later segment. All right, all right. Clean. And we are back, chefs. So we're about to get into it. Speak more to Garago's university experience and how that was for him. So <clears throat> you get that shock of your life, nah? Mm-hmm. And was that the last and the biggest shock? Or it was yeah. Wes, Wes, Wes? The thing with Joburg is that, you know, the shocks just don't stop, right? Mm. Like... On campus, you see a nigga driving your dad's dream car, and he's in the same class as you. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> people think I'm making jokes when I say this, but bruh, like the things that you see on campus are crazy, dog. Like, and then there's this one time I was wearing, uh, I was getting used to the the campus life. You know, the first few months you were dressed in like a you know like a sane person. You know, like. I'm here with a serious future, with a serious plan. You know, mm. I have to get my family out of the gutter, you know. But as time goes, you're like, ah, bro, I'm just a student. I'm going to campus. Who cares? And exactly. then you just start wearing whatever you want. You wear mm. flip-flops, you know. So I was wearing gray sweatpants, what you're wearing there. Mm. And then a gray top and then sneakers. I forgot what kind of sneakers. Mm. And then this guy stops me and he's like, you dress like you're going to sleep. Randomly, bro. I'm like, dude. 
this never happened. Like back home in Limpopo, no one would randomly stop you and comment on what you're wearing. Mm, First mm. of all, we don't even care about like what people wear like that, you mm. know. And to stop someone that you don't know and you know make that kind of comment and you know like I'm from Limpopo, like where is the fear of people in Limpopo in Jobek? Like are you guys are no longer afraid of us here, mm, you know? Mm. So that was another shock also. But and then there was also Max as yeah. well. Yo, bro, like yeah, no, varsity will rattle you, dog. Like mm. proper, proper, proper. Or are you you drinking alcohol with higher marks than you? like the lowest i've ever gotten i think it was for a test that i studied the most for that's how crazy it is mm. like the night before i was going to write that test i was like you know i don't feel ready dog like this test is going to whoop my ass it was cost management and i find i skip the test apply for the sick Sick tests, don't mm. do that, don't, don't mm. do that. Sick mm. tests, like, hey, they're very hectic. Mm. So I go and I have, I get like another, like a week to prepare for that test. So I consult with uh, or someone who is, was like a, a few years above me. Mm, mm, and then mm. she helps me, you know, with the, you know, the, the cost management, the things that, the concepts that I was struggling with. I'm like, okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. I have no extra time. I consulted with like the right people, you know, mm. uh, my lecturer and a, a tutor. So mm. I'm, I'm good. Let's go. Uh, chief, chief, the I lowest wanna. mark I've ever got in university was for that test. It was bad. It was bad. And I remember when we went to fetch the the scripts for that test because like varsity, that's another thing, doc. Like they just put your scripts in some shelves where they're like, you know, with, with your say name, like M's, it's this row, K's, it's this row. So you just go there. Everyone, anyone can just see your scripts mm. if they want to, you mm. know. So... We get there, we take our scripts, it's bad. Nah, nah. And then I see this lady crying. And I'm like, why ask people, like, why is she crying? It's like, hey, she failed, dog. And it's a, it's a year module. So if you fail, it was th- third year. So if you fail this module, you have to come back the next year mm. and rewrite the whole thing. So mm. you're extending your degree by, mm. you know, another year. And in your head, you told yourself, I'm doing a record time. I mean, I'll go back home and tell them three-year degree in three mm. years. Ah, and Jesus has other plans for me. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of shocks in varsity. Dog. Like they just never stop. I could talk about like the shocks that I got there yeah, for days. Yeah, yeah. But what what are then the the inverse of that would be? What are the greatest lessons? Where you're like, yo, if I wasn't in this space, I wouldn't know that this is how the world is, or this is how whatever it is is. Yeah, I think it's like the the biggest one is that you know what you put in is what you get out. Like you can't cheat it unless you know you you cheating for real for you like you 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 know uh, uh getting someone to write your test or whatever but mm. like you know the work that you put in it's what you get out and if you cheat it it will eventually come you know come back to you and you know it, you will be left exposed another thing i think it's like the the diversity of like south africa you know i think it's probably a cliche that you know we are also diverse you know speak different languages mm, different mm, cultures mm, different mm. backgrounds but when you go to like a university like uj or any like university in Gauteng, i think for the most part it's yeah. like you it's there's a lot of cultures there mm. you know i remember like with my friends i, I was speaking spady one was speaking spitori mm. two were zulu one was tosa and would just like converse speak your home language and but we would be able to understand each other it was like we were watching an episode of ms in western seas who were characters in life that. jive yeah so that's I, like that's another thing that you know i realized with my varsity journey is that you know as much as like we are different people like we we, we all share common traits and you know we can find common ground mm. so is it in varsity where you pick up the phone you're like and like camera eh let me tell a few jokes <laughs> or do you wait till you grad and then you start with yeah. the content i think with my my journey of content creation it's it's different from a lot of creators because i i, I hear a lot of like creators talk about like how you know they started their journey of content creation i started on twitter right okay so in high school i was you know i think i started in grade 10 okay doing twitter just like talking about football you know uh, music you know casper versus aka mm. you know we were in the trenches with mm. that one you know 
And then it from there it just like progresses, you know, I gain, you know, followers and you know, I'm in grade twelve, I have like thirty K followers. Mm. What can you tell me, dog? I got what names. do you know? I'll I'll like, names. I can say something now and I'll have a thousand repeats. Dog. Yeah. What can you tell yeah, me? Yeah, you don't know my life. <laughs> You're not your type is not my type. Dog, you don't know me like that. You know, so from there it just like goes on and then I get like, you know, odd promos here and mm. there. So like they like we'll, there's a new song we'll dropping, mm. you just tweet about you know, this song that is dropping will give you like 200. 200, I'm in grade 11. Mm. 200 is a lot. Easy. 200 is a lot. Remember, remember, in high school is where like we gazata like, you know, the odd 20 rands, 50 mm. rands here to go to something to drink, you know, with our friends at a mm. house party. I don't know if the kids today are still doing it because I see kids now, I think it's 18 mm. in the club drinking Henny. Like, where to from here, my brother? But drop a 10k. Dog, like, it's crazy. Or maybe it's just Joburg. But I think even back home, like, I see kids, like, they buy, like, you know, expensive bottles that mm. we went by. You know, we'd buy you know, vodka and then make a punch and buy like a bottle. Uh, what's Combo it? tea. Yeah, papsak. Yeah. Yeah. But th- th- these days the kids are doing, you know, even better than us. I don't mm. know where the ceiling is. I don't yeah. know <laughs> what their plan is. But yeah, that's how I started, you know, the odd 200s here and there. So even in, in varsity, you know, I'd get those uh, campaigns here and there. And then maybe there would be a, a campaign that says uh, you need to record yourself, mm. you know, saying something, you know, on Twitter that is and then I think after varsity or in after third year, I got a campaign to do like a, a, a more and one that like it paid a lot of money. So I was like, no, I need to put like a lot of work into this. You know, let me think of like what can I do. So I was still figuring it out then. So I was like, let me make a skit, a mm. skit. So I do that, and then you know people are just you know excited that I'm fine. I'm doing you know mm. video content because like people were saying like you need to do video video content, content you know, yeah. YouTube. Blah blah blah, you know, and then I think it's in f- fourth. Nah, fourth year was COVID. Yeah, my and then yeah, I think after fourth year when I moved to Pretoria to start working, that's when I like start dabbling in mm. you know video content. And since then, it's been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's been good. You know, it's a it's a journey. It's a mm. journey. Like people, like I said, people will tell you. Hey Joe, like you are so funny, dog. Like open that uh, YouTube channel, double subscribe. You open it and no one subscribes. Mm. You know, it teaches. It, there's a lesson there somewhere, but yeah, you know, yeah. So it's 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 been a journey. It's been interesting. You know, it's been I've been discovering a lot about like myself, life, and you know, meeting new people, cool people. Yeah. Doing you know dope shit as I like to call it, doing dope shit with dope people. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's when I started doing my my content. So it's fine. No, first year of working, I think I like I have no time to myself. Yeah. yeah. And also I met my girlfriend. So with like my without my girlfriend, I don't think I'd be doing video content. This, really? We wouldn't have this conversation. Like video content mm. came up and I'll just be doing tweets. So Rachole is what you're telling us. Absolutely. We are better people when we are in love. Yo, I so real. Believe that. So real. So Sharp, you are now in the space. Like what is that space like because i don't know for me uh, seeing some creators it it looks still even when they're at a point where there's a big following and people are you know looking and excited for videos it still gives a very like almost haphazard approach right like it's not, they don't give wait. they don't they don't they don't they don't view necessarily their content as a brand or so this, is something, this is something this is why dog will a political party vote ah ya batle lo na le tlampolela le tender ah mfitu re tla tla sharp ka se se ka bona bana ba the already tags ke bona o nkenya tronko ke bona mathata i foresee a court no when i ka se se ka i foresee a court so treat a sharp never or have what you see you see how you guys get caught but the sharp guys go have has a top then you give me the I post things here turn to me you can't have has it is like uh, erratic sporadic like it's like a like I want to get that so when you need to break it down nice stop a meeting or wait wait I'm a man mmm squad say we I'm a man I'm from Limpopo squad my name is Karama please relax mmm I don't want to be like please basics 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 so that's it rushed approach almost ne? yes and they don't necessarily treat themselves as brands as 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 so do you find that in the space like there's is there a sense of professionalism but to understand the content creator 
And yeah. this is fun. This is a different, like, non-conventional job. But it's still something that is work and deserves respect. Um, and there's respect among creators. Yeah. Or is it like, Yo, I think <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing industry. And mm. it's re- relatively new to us, you know, in South Africa, if I can say that. Mm. So it's a, it's a touch and go approach for the most part. You know, we learn as we grow, you know, when if you haven't like worked with a brand before, it's unlikely that you'd know what a rate card is, mm. you know, a media kit and so forth. So when the brand comes to you and asks for those things, that's when you go and, you know, research mm. and all that mm. stuff, you know, with like, you know, what you charge, how you charge, you know, you still have to like figure that out because it's, 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 it's a, it's a it's like corporate, like people don't just go around telling you like, oh, I'm, I'm earning this much, you know. So you just have to like find people that, you know, want uh, can trust you or they're comfortable sharing, you know, how much they charge so that you can, you know, gauge yourself and, you know, uh, uh, get come up with, you know, your own kind of rate and then work from there. So it's a touch and go. And I think we're still learning, man. Like like you're saying, it's, uh, for, for some people, it's, so it's about getting, you know, the, the fame, you know, the mm. cloud and, you know, being invited to events, people recognizing you and getting like free stuff and, you know, being famous, basically. For some, it's like they get into it as a, a way to make a living. And mm. for those people, I think I find or like they are the ones that, you know, are quickly to turn it into something that is professional, you know. Yes, you might start off as, you know, you were just, you know, playing around. But once you realize that there is, you know, potential, mm-hmm. you know, you could make a living out of this, then the, the smart ones, I'm not saying about Bari, but now I'm saying the other ones are smart. Mm. They quickly realize and, you know, they start to move accordingly. Capitalize. Yeah. yeah. No, I think, I think that's super dope. I think that's super dope. So if you were to give people three key takeaways, three key things from your life, right, that have contributed to your success, um, what would those three things be? Ooh. Ooh, be authentic, be yourself. That's one thing, mm-hmm. the first one. Like, you as you are, uh, it's something that I realized on Twitter. Like, on Twitter, you could say the most absurd thing, mm. and then there'll be someone who'll be like, nah, let him cook, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. I hear you, bro. Yeah. Like, the most craziest of things. Like, something that is morally wrong like someone will say nah actually i hear where you're coming from mm. you know so if you just yourself and you just like be the unique you that you know god made you out to be there are people that will be able to resonate with you mm. on that mm. level because like you know at the end of the day we 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 humans on mm. in that regard right the second thing that's when i learned from my mom is that you know mm. you know what do they say? Direct translation. The first fear, fear is the to be afraid scared. of God. Yeah, the first scare is to be afraid of God. But, you know, that's something that, you know, it steers me from, you know, a lot of, like, bad things, mm, you know. Mm. Because I can't do like, mm. if I remember in, in varsity, like, when I just first got there, I thought it was cocaine, but it turns out it wasn't. But people were doing something, and, you know, they were just very offering you no know, they were just like you know yeah. uh, open yeah with it and they were just like you know uh okay and they were so giving with it you know you think like this is something that is beneficial to yeah. you and you're like yeah. dude you're offering me a, 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 a something that my parents warned me about like so yeah you're offering, you're offering, oh you're i read about me, you yeah, yeah hello you, yeah you offer you're offering me what my parents told me johannesburg is yeah. this is it you're offering Straight. it to me here you know mm. and me being the the person that I am and how I was raised, like, so I just, like, left those things alone. And even now, it still carries me to this day where, it's like, you know, friends would say, let's do this. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't I have a weird gut feeling about this. So, mm. nah. You know, it stems from that okay. for me, right? The final thing, success. Oh, let me think. Let me think. Oh, no, this is going to be... A long one for me to think about. So what we'll do in there, we'll go into Confession Corner. Wait, Tware, then at the end of Confession Corner, Tarefa number three. Mm-hmm. So Confessions Corner is where we speak to the chefs and they tell us something ever emitting. Yes. And we have to advise them. So mm-hmm. today, so pick a number between one and three. 
three. Three. Okay, three. The three. The third one is not bad. <laughs> so this person says, "I found a genuine p- passion for the first time, but everyone else is so far ahead in the field, and I'm just starting. I'm afraid of lagging behind forever." What would you? advise this person to do i would say they must just run their own race like yeah everyone's journey is different um and also everyone's journey will stop at different points so those that are ahead now may plateau when like your come up is coming and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, yeah yeah so that's my advice so advice from carabo yo mine i uh, no i agree with, with what you're saying there you know do you know season drum right mm. yeah mm. his pin tweet is something that you know sticks with me or has stuck with me for a very long time you know the guy may have told south africa lies that nelson mandela was alive when he wasn't you know mm. but that <laughs> pin that pin, not pin tweet it's a bio actually mm. his bio he says it all happens at its own time and mm. that's the beauty of it mm. Mm. you know mm. so you think that you know people are you know ahead of you but those people are running their own races yep. you know my my favorite rapper j cole asinale nega but j cole says uh, my intuition is telling me there will be better days. That's yes, how I yes. move. You know, I just wholeheartedly believe that my better days are ahead of me. Mm. Even when I feel like, yo, oh, this is the greatest day ever. I'm like, you know what? It's going to get better. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the attitude that you you have to have. You know, on top of what with what you just said. Mm, mm, mm. So, eh, <clears throat> eh, Confession number two. I had sex with my cousin this one time at my place with my father sleeping in the other room. It was nice though and we had to keep it silent. Now he wants to pay me a visit here where my father won't be here at, as in res. And I know if I agree the next time I meet with my father again it will be the two of us plus a bundle of joy. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> cousin Cousin, what should I do? You know what you need to do. <laughs> what do you, mean? you know what you need to do. Like, you just want to hear people, you know, what you're doing is wrong and you know it's wrong. Like, how, how does it even get there, dog? Like, how? How? how do you see your cousin in that light? That's so crazy, dog. Like, hey, I thought, I thought, I thought, I'm fit, but clearly not. I'm fit. I, I'm, life is good, actually. Hey, Your life is good. Life is good. I, about, I'm ready, my school, where not, yeah, no, okay, I'm ready, my school, where not, yeah, no, okay, I'm ready, my school, where not, yeah, no, So, what, like, what, what would you tell anonymous? No, stop that. Stop that. Yeah, stop it. That's the, <laughs> stop it. I can't say anything better. Stop that. Like, so, you're like, cousin, but I'm like, yeah, if you're like, you think, when people say God made someone else for me, then my person is out there. God just made made that person your cousin. God na sa watle astrage. Na watle close. Have a cousin you know each other inside out. There's no flirting. Baba na watle na straight to business. Well, and it's it's actually it's actually cost savvy because like my heart is just you know they're circulating in the family. Oko papa pa afem abuta high loan. Yeah. Papa ko bofe. Malumelo, no. And you're not, you're not inviting two families, it's just the same. The one you can literally just get married at a family Christmas gathering, ne? like, yeah, you can just say, ka, 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 yeah, you can say, guys, we have something to tell you. Mm. No, 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 no. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, stop that, stop that, stop that. Yeah, <laughs> end it. So, anonymous, would be the advice is simple too, and stop that, yeah, stop, stop that. that, end it. Okay, last confession. So, and there was like a, a bash at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. So, guys, I had a quickie with someone at the bash and now I haven't had my period. That time, I don't even know his name. If it, if it lit. So, bundle of joy, what form, what form? And I had to go to the bundle how would you advise Anonymous to proceed? A nigga that moves that recklessly. Actually, two people that move that recklessly shouldn't be having a kid. Hey, I feel bad for that child. Nah. Honestly, that child is not even born, but I feel bad for, for that mm-hmm. child. And I recently learned or le- read. I don't ask me how I read this or how I came across this. Okay. But Mary Stopes does oh. abortions on credit. Saras? Yes. On credit? Yes. So, so like... Payment plan. Yes, payment plan. Will account. 
Le Marie. Yes, the so every month, yes, David smart, order. Smart show, Mary. Please. So what? What's the reference? Um, to Anasi Jesus. What? That's funny. <laughs> what are they? What are they? Okay. That's funny. My question. My, my question was, <laughs> what if you can't pay? Like you. Bah, 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 who kisa mwana, Papa? My, that's my. Bah, who kisa mwana? Bah, ubiita. Yeah. Bah, come. Kigo. Like one month, but they put them somewhere, and then mm. you know they let them grow, and then. If you are failure, if you fail the payment, oh, hey, hey, not actually, no. your child is here. Wait. You think you gave God full custody? Yeah, no, 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 no. Mm mm. Nah, they shouldn't have that child. Hey, no. So, so would you recommend finding the father? But but decide, eh? Or she must take an executive decision. No, take an executive decision, bro. Like, I always tell people that you know, women are very brave mm. in the sense that. They have kids with men. Like, have you met men? Yeah, bro. Like, men are a factory default, bro. This I believe wholeheartedly. Mm. Like, I don't even trust my own father. That's how much I believe this. <laughs> that man made me support case achieves. So yeah. the first mm. thing about Miss Lady early on, you know. So I'm like, nah, men, no. Hmm. If 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 you were to have a child, like have it with someone really you know, like you know, reduce the child the, the chances of that person being a factory default, you know, vet them the right way. Mm. You know, be mm. in a relationship, you know, get married if it leads to that. You know, that way, you know, you reduce the child the chances of not knowing this yeah. who this person really is. Yeah. Now the first thing that you guys are doing is just bringing another person into this world and your relationship is starting off on three. Colleague at Laura Gertri. I know. Ah, okay. If you say so, service oh, you service, service but we both are no. Hey, we don't cover mechanical. What do I? Two little clutch plate. You will pay. <laughs> you will pay. It's fine. It's hmm. fine. But yeah, no, don't no. That that those two people are not fit to raise a child. Now, I agree. I agree. I think <clears throat> that child ought not be a child, and. And just reflect. Mm-hmm. Not again. No, really. Let's, let's make better choices. Yeah, that's yeah. unbelief. Yeah, yeah. And use choice. Oh, choice, eh? Eh. Yeah. Ah, at least it's it's a first measure of of protection because Yeah, 100%. Safety, safety first, guys. Especially if, like, what's that say about, especially now. Yeah. Because the rates that the STI, literally, what, what, in Bram, you are already in Bram, eh? And uh, you know what I always find interesting Kat, about the STI? There's always a surge in STIs. But I've never met someone who says, nah, I have an STI. So <laughs> someone is lying somewhere. Yeah, nah. So be safe, guys. Always, always, always be safe. Always protect yourselves. Um, and make sure they are aware for what's other. Facts, facts. So number three. Number three? Mm. The, the last Oh, tip. the third one, yeah. Mm. As- just do it, man. That's the, yeah. the thing. Yeah. Just, just do it. Like, uh, I, there's a, this speech by I think it's Theodore Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. That has been dead for probably the longest time. Mm. But it just speaks about you know it's not the man who is outside the arena who counts or the critic or the person that hasn't gotten into the arena, the mm. ring, basically, mm. who whose opinion matters. Mm. It's all. It's about the guys that are in the arena that are doing mm. things. You know. So you shouldn't care about people that haven't failed, that are too scared to fail, mm. that haven't... Because like if you're too scared to do something, you yes, your 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 first instinct is not to fail, right? And you won't fail, but mm. you also won't succeed because mm. you're not doing anything. Mm. Mm. So just like go ahead and do it, man. Whatever that you want to do, just go ahead and do it and you'll figure it out as, as time goes, you know, and... Like I said, that speech, it's not the critic who counts, the man who's outside the arena. It's people that, you know... That are inside or mm. that have the best your best interest at heart. That's who you should you know take you know critique from. Or, yeah, yeah. Because like yeah. you get if you decide to do content creation, for example, right, you will get unsolicited unsolicited you know uh, opinions mm. and you know guidance and critique. But it's up to you to choose which mm. one am mm. I you know considering. You know, does this person have my best interest at heart? Does this person watch my content or is mm. this person just? No hating for the sake of it, mm, you know. Mm, mm. So yeah, that's number three. And then on, I think chefs, if your knives aren't sharp, if your meals aren't ready, if your recipe isn't top after that that episode, Angasili Tusi, stop that thing when our cousin. 
<laughs> when now how to be a booty you're not don't do it again and the other one run your own race take your own time your journey is yours make it your own um and if you ever need advice you know the recipes you know where we give them and you know when we give them all the time we're here for you thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of recipe for success thank you Karabo, for coming through Dango. we appreciate you and we hope you enjoy your time with us today thank you my brother appreciate it shout out chefs <laughs>